Yo, King AK47, Voice of the Streets, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Let me give you some time to hit the like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Roll to 100K, man. I need less than 8,000 people. Y'all subscribe, 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 man, as I keep y'all updated on Young Dog and every other thing that we cover over here, man. So Memphis police basically announced that they know exactly who the second suspect is, the second shooter of Young Dog. Um, they're looking for him right now. They have not released his name to the public. Why? I have no idea. They probably playing games because I'm about to get y'all something. I'm about to give y'all something that might be a mistake that straight drop made. But, yeah, they know who it is. And from what I'm hearing, it's a possibility of two people. Um, one, y'all already know who. I ain't going to say his name. And two, I ain't say his name neither. And if it's him, bro, if, th if this second suspect is him, bro, then this might be hit the industry man you never know so you know what i mean but i ain't gonna say too much on that man if you know you know you feel what i'm saying so man that's crazy so yes they do know who the second shooter is they identify him they're looking for him as we speak but they're just not telling us yet expect to hear a name from now tomorrow or the day after that from now to the next couple days man but i want to uh ask y'all a question did straight drop just make a mistake is this why Memphis police ain't putting out names and letting these niggas fuck up? Because let me tell you all something. And this came to my attention for somebody from Memphis, right? So one of the straight drop homies did a dumbass interview that he never should have did. If y'all hip, y'all hip. I ain't going to say his name or where the interview is, but they probably going to say it in the comment section. And the nigga was shaking hard. You could tell the nigga was nervous. And you know the nigga look all old and shit. Like, nigga, we just seen you like a month ago. You look younger than that. You look like you're stressing. Why you stressing? But it was done in a certain area, right, in city where this interview was done at. Now, mind you, they looking for the second suspect, but ain't put out nothing yet. So if this is true, Straight Drop posted a, v a picture six days ago. And, man, the background of that picture, bro, I mean, all they got to do is zoom in and put that shit in the cam computer and it's going to tell you where the location at, man. This nigga just might have made a big mistake, and they might have waited until he dropped something. Because then in the picture, he in the car. Well, if you ain't in Memphis, and that car look new, did you go to a dealership? You know they going to be checking cameras. All this shit, man. And it's just like these niggas is the dumbest criminals I've ever seen in my life, man. So I'm here to tell you all, man, straight drop ain't dead. And this nigga might have made a big mistake by posting on Instagram. If you know, you know. I ain't saying more than that. And also, his homie might have made a big mistake on showing that in doing that interview because the interview might be somewhere. Y'all put the rest together. King AK47 Voice of the Streets. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Tap that like button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Roll to 100K, man. We less than 8,000 away. I need everybody to subscribe, man. I'll see y'all in a minute, man. King AK47, Voice of the Street.